hello everyone my name is sunny and this is the first lecture on bug bounty or web hacking series in this lecture we are gonna cover two very fundamental things first we will set up the best possible free lab for practicing the web hacking or bug bounty skills where you know you can practice a bug bounty comfortably then in the second half i will show you how to to scan a website for vulnerabilities so so you can get uh, an idea how you know things work in real world all right so let's get started all right so open your terminal i am assuming that you already have the kali linux installed right so first thing that i'm gonna do is update the repositories so type the command sudo apt update press enter now provide your password hit enter by updating the repositories we will be able to you know install the latest applications let this command finish i ran this command recently so it did not take that much time for me now once uh, update is finished now type uh, sudo apt install apt install kelly hyphen linux hyphen labs press enter as you can see guys i already have this package installed if you don't have it installed then it will ask you whether you want to install it or not all you have to do press uh, type y and then press enter then it will install this package now this package installs two applications dwwa dwwa is short for dam vulnerable web application and juice shop both the applications are made vulnerable or created vulnerable intentionally where you can you know practice your bug bounty or web hacking skills so once uh, this package is installed then we can you know uh, start using the applications we are gonna start with dwwa so type sudo i'm gonna open the dam vulnerable web application first so type uh, sudo dwwa hyphen start sorry now press enter it is gonna take a few seconds to start all right as you can see i am uh, being redirected to the login page but when you run dwwa for the first time you will be redirected to the to the setup page all you need to do scroll down you will see a button called a uh, create or setup database click on the button then it will finish the remaining installation process and then you will be redirected to the login page automatically okay so once you you are here then type the username the default username is admin and password is simply password in lowercase now click on log in and this is the damn vulnerable web application so let me scroll down as you can see guys username admin and security level impossible this is the default level that dwwa sets up for you obviously you since you are just a beginner you have to start from basics so you need to change the security level to to beginner so click on the page dwwa security and uh, click on the drop down select the low now click on submit now as you can see the security level has been set to low okay now let's see how we can uh, start a uh, juice shop so to start juice shop type sudo juice hyphen shop hit enter and it takes a few seconds to to start when you you know open it for the first time when you start the juice shop sometimes it displays this error unable to uh, connect all you have to do click on try again now as you can see it is working now here as you can see guys this is the 
OWASP Juice Shop where you can practice your you know web hacking skills all right so we have successfully set up dbwa and juice shop now next lab that i'm gonna set up is is, is at portswigger portswigger is the same company which has developed the burp suite application burp suite is i think the best tool for testing web applications one of the best right if not the best Portswigger also provides a lab where you can, you know, uh, practice your web hacking skills, right? I think the lab of Portswigger is very close to, to the real world. So it is a must to have a lab there as well. All right, so guys, visit portswigger.net. Then click on Academy. And first thing that we have to do is create an account here. So click on sign up and enter your email address now click on register now we we need to check our email where uh, instruction for setting up password will be sent sometime there is a delay in sending email so wait for you know 10 or 20 seconds now open the email then click on the button that says click here okay here write your name all right here as you can see to access your account simply copy your password it will automatically generate the password so you have to copy it because memorizing it uh, is almost impossible at least for me so i'm gonna save it in a file now let me copy the password because i'm gonna need it for login okay now click on login uh, to your account now enter your registered email address and paste the password then click on remember me on this computer now click on login all right guys so once you log in successfully then yeah this is your account or dashboard so again click on academy to access the labs now click on all labs now here as you can see we have you know labs for different categories for sql injection path traversal xss we have a plenty of labs here so let me scroll down as you can see all you have to do to access the lab click on the link that you want to to you know uh, use so for example let me select the let's say this first uh, lab reflected xss and here um, you can read the solution as well as you can see here then click on access the lab to actually get uh, get there so let me solve this lab just to demonstrate you guys this is an x a simple xss vulnerability which allows us to inject the code alert one now click on search as you can see the code has been executed successfully and once you complete the challenge now as you can see it congratulates you congratulations you have solved the lab now your question might be why do we need different labs we already have set up three labs this is because different labs present different you know uh, challenges right you will have to come up with different solutions with different labs in this way you can access whatever challenge you want then you know solve that now another place where you can you know test your web pen testing skills is a lab of acunetics so in the web, web browser type acunetics test php so visit this this uh, url test.phpwellnab.com all right guys now let me show you how to how to scan a website for vulnerabilities automatically right so open your uh, your terminal i'm gonna open a new tab now the tool that i'm gonna use is OWASP zap i believe the OWASP zap is one of the most underrated tools 
it basically automatically scans your website and then it tests website for different vulnerabilities right it works in auto mode all you have to do supply a url then it will scan the entire website osp zap is not pre-installed on kali linux so to install osp zap type sudo apt install uh, zap proxy zap proxy All right, guys, once the installation of Zap proxy is complete, now we can, you know, start using it. So to start OSP Zap or Zap proxy, type OSP, sorry, OSP hyphen Zap, hit enter. It is going to take a few seconds to start. All right, so click on close button here. So this is the, the OSP Zap. Let me tell you guys, it offers a lot of features. As you can see, it is quite overwhelming, right? So click on this button, automated scan. Double click on it. Now here you can uh, write your URL or your target website, right? So this is as simple as that. You put the URL here, then click on attack, then it will start scanning the website. So the URL that I'm gonna put in here is, is this, Acunetics like i said earlier here you can practice your web you know hacking skills so it is perfectly legal to scan this website so copy this url test php vulnerweb.com and paste it here in the box of osp zap remember guys you have to put the protocol at the beginning HTTP or HTTPS so it is an HTTP website so I'm gonna type HTTP hyphen two slashes forward slashes now you don't have to do anything else here just click on attack then it will start attacking first thing that it will do is it will crawl all the URLs on web application then it will scan the entire website for vulnerabilities as you can see under the spider tab it is crawling the urls all these urls okay now the scan the actual scan or attack has started as you can see in we have a new tab active scan now as you can see guys here uh, along with this this progress bar we have a graph uh, graph kind of button right so click on this animated button now it is gonna show all the you know attacks that it is gonna execute on the on this web application right as you can see it is gonna try path traversal attacks remote file execu execution xss xql injection it will basically try all these listed attacks now if you want to skip a particular attack or attacks then what you can do is on your right side as you can see we have these two right arrows right so let's say you don't want to test this particular uh, attack source code disclosure so all you have to do click on this this button skip the active scanner click on this so this feature is useful you know when you exactly know what uh, you want to scan so it is going to take a lot of time as you can see it has to go through all these attacks now i'm gonna I click on the close button to close this window it has not closed the scan it is still uh, running in the background as you can see you can access it anytime by clicking on this this uh, this button here right as you can see now if you want to see what vulnerabilities the osp has found then you have to click on the alert button click on the button here it is gonna list all the vulnerabilities that it finds right now as you can see guys the scan is complete now let me go to the alert tab here as you can see it has found some critical vulnerabilities such as cross scripting site right so let me demonstrate uh, the cross scripting site how it is actually vulnerable so click on the arrow let me open uh, the this page let's uh, here this guestbook.php this is most likely vulnerable to the attack so 
I'm gonna open it in the uh, web browser Firefox all right so here let me type some JavaScript code script and let me copy and paste I'm just writing a simple JavaScript code to check whether it gets executed or not alert one so if I click on add message as you can see guys the code has been successfully executed right so this is certainly vulnerable to to access attack which is allowing us to execute the uh, the javascript code right so guys in this way you can use you know this this osp zap to quickly scan the the websites for possible vulnerabilities sometimes it gives false positives as well there you have to you know uh, test everything manually or with persuade now before wrapping up this video let me show you how to save the scanned results so to save the scan result in into a file click on report now click on generate report all right so here write the title of the report test here you can write the report name Acunetics and do not remove this dot html because report will be saved in in the html uh, document this dot html extension will allow us to open the report in the in the web browser and here select the directory where you want to save the report default is this location home directory of the user i'm gonna save it in desktop click on save click on generate report yeah as you can see guys the report has been generated and automatically opened in the web browser here as you can see it is kind of very well formatted now here you can analyze the results right risk high to medium click on it then it will take you to that particular uh, section as you can see here it is very easy and comfortable to uh, analyze the report